Hey everybody, welcome back to Touchy Reactions. Exciting day on the channel. We've got a new artist we've never reviewed before. This is an artist called Bring Me the Horizon. This song's called Kingslayer. From what I understand, uh, they also feature a little bit of baby metal on here. So shout out to all the uh, baby metal fans out there. It's been a minute since I've done some baby metal reactions. So shout out to the one. Um, I got three videos I'm going to be checking out tonight. The first one is a lyric video so I can understand what this song's all about. The second one is kind of a behind the scenes storytelling of how this song came together. And then the last one's a mashup of several live performances featuring baby metal. So that is the lineup for tonight. Stick around if that's what you're into. We got here by, uh, I put a poll up on my Patreon and let all my patrons know I'm looking for some new metal bands to listen to. And this is the one of the ones that won the uh, poll. So shout out to all my patrons for voting. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and jump into this lyric video for the song. Bring me uh, Kingslayer by Bring Me the Horizon. All right, here we go. Shout out to Mo Metal, laying down the uh, nice, clean English lyrics on there. Sounded really good. I'm going to back up five here. All right, talking about the song real quick. Uh, it's super heavy. Love that. It's got a great beat to it. It's very metal. And uh, the lyrics remind me a lot of, uh, like, The Matrix almost, where it's talking about... Uh, are, are you uh, are you a friend or foe? Are you going to stab me in the back if I cut your strings? Are you don't cr crawling back to me? It's reminded me a lot of the imagery that comes along with uh, you know are, are you are you ready to wake up and see the reality that is the real world kind of thing? It really gave me some matrix imagery in my mind, so uh, that was really cool. Let's go ahead and jump into this next verse. Here we go. I'm backing up five. Yeah, get the fuck up, wake the fuck up. It's all like, uh, it reminds me of Neo when he was stuck in the Matrix and they're trying to set him free. And uh, when they talk about cutting those strings, it's like when they released him into the real world. I know it's probably not at all what this song is about. That's just where my head went. <laughs>
I just realized too, this lyric video is in such a way, the way that it's put together, awesome. I've never seen one like this before, but it also reminds me of the Matrix and that scene where Neo's sitting at his computer and, and it says, follow the white rabbit. It just types out on the screen. That's the same way this uh, lyric video is kind of going together. So that kind of also ties into that in my mind. I, I'm sorry if I'm making you mad with all the Matrix references, but it's where I'm stuck right now. I picture the crowds at a live concert going nuts right there when he does that part. That was cool, man. Kingslayer by Bring Me the Horizon. All right, let's check out this little behind the scenes video. I found this over on their uh, Bring Me the Horizon YouTube page. Uh, I always like to do a couple of videos for the same song so I can get some different perspective on it alive. You know, I do the lyric videos so I can really know what the song is about. And uh, this one was in here. I would love when I find a little behind the scenes documentary to slip in there too. So uh, let's all enjoy the. Uh, I don't even know what you call this. 06 BMTHS3. That might be... BMTHS is Bring Me the Horizon S3, maybe Series 3. I don't know. Let's jump into it. Here we go. They're so prim and proper and polite, uh, the girls from Baby Metal. Uh, I miss doing reactions from them. They got, I ended up getting a whole bunch of copyright issues from uh, Baby Metal reactions, so I had to kind of slow down on doing those. It was crazy. And then it took us on tour last year. Um, in Japan, and it was just like the biggest fucking shows ever. Yeah, if you don't know, man. The Baby Metal fandom and their concerts in Japan are epic. Epic, legendary concerts with some of the coolest stages, pyrotechnics, uh, all the stuff that the girls do is just fantastic. And their fandom is just super loyal and super interactive with the concerts. Very cool. If you haven't seen that stuff, go check it out. Honestly, I think like their enthusiasm for our band has kind of got us bigger over there. We just kind of wanted to like celebrate our connection by having them on a song. And also, they bring so much to that show. <laughs> I didn't want to just go super hard on it and it sound like super old school. I wanted, and it needed to sound fresh to me, and I think when we got them on, like it just elevated the song to like sound like some kind of anime theme tuning. Yes. So like it just kind of gave me the freedom to just go, I can go as fucking crazy as I want and the song's still gonna sound like mental and, and like something no one's heard of before just cause, just cause Baby Metal's vocals bring so much to it. Oh wow. He's got the Fox God mask on, that was cool. Don't 
did I screw up the names earlier? I think I called uh, Sue Metal Mo Metal. Oh, it's been too long since I've done a Baby Metal reaction. I'll forgive all the angry comments in the uh, in the in the comments section for me screwing that up. I apologize. It is Sue Metal. Sue Metal is the lead on that band. Uh, Mo Metal, Sue Metal, Mo Metal, and Yui Metal. Yeah, those are the three. I think I might have called Sue Moa earlier in this reaction. And I feel terrible for that. I'm sorry. It's been it's been several months since I covered Baby Metal, and I, I screwed that up if I did. My bad. Working with them was awesome. Like they were so, so like they're so organized and just so like professional. Like like I asked them that I was like I really want you guys to sing the verse in Japanese. Um, so I told them all the idea behind the song and the concept and stuff, and like. They came back with like a table of like option A, B, C, D of, of lyrics and little like all all of it in Japanese and then the translation, what it meant and like all this stuff. It was super awesome. <laughs> love when the bands go down and interact with the crowd they feel safe enough to do that that's cool all right let's go ahead and check out this last one here this should be a mashup of uh different videos it's called bring me the horizon featuring baby metal king slayer live edit so i'm guessing live edit means that it's like lots of different lives cut together uh let's go ahead and jump into it and check it out here we go. I, you know, I think I've seen Bring Me the Horizon before. I think they did a duet with Ed Sheeran for the song uh, Bad Habits, which I've covered on this channel. Um, I think I saw them for the first time on that. I haven't reacted to them, though. Uh, I really like how heavy they are. I love their, their sound. It's very metal. All right, here we go. This is the uh, live edit version. Oh, I think I'm going to switch to a different live. I think I'm going to switch to a different live because this one does the nothing's matching up here. It's a good cut together edit. And it sounds like they cut it all together under maybe the, uh, let me see if there's a crowd on this. Now, this sounds like the studio version, and they just cut all the video over top of it. So I'm going to skip to a different live that's actually live because I want to really experience what their live is like. I'll be right back. Here we go. All right, I found this other one here. This is uh, Kingslayer, Bring Me the Horizon Live in London. Itch for the Cure, uh, Kingslayer featuring Baby Metal. So. Let's, let's get a real live performance on here and see what they're like as a live performer. Here we go. Really cool stage. I like this... Uh, these panels that they've got down, they're semi-transparent. They got uh, like a digital video screen working on them. It's a good way for the band to come out and get set up without being seen kind of thing. Very cool effects. I got the smoke going heavy.
Are you looking for the love of the sound? Feeling nothing but the same color Are you sleeping in a dream? Giving up from here Fire! Need to know This crowd looks great, man. What a hyped up crowd. Like you can hear him singing along through everything. So good. I love going to live concerts. You can even hear the crowd singing the Japanese part right here. That's very cool. Man, I gotta give a shout out to this camera person. Hold on. This is uh Simon Burton. Shout out to Simon Burton, man. Great job with the camera work. A lot of people focus all the time when they're live, they focus on the bands or the artists on stage, which is great. But part of the experience of being at a live concert is also the crowd, and he's getting plenty of shots of the crowd, showing the energy in the room. He's got a nice, crisp, clean uh camera, as far as uh, it's a good quality camera. If I had one critique, it'd be the sound is a little muffled a little bit, but uh, sometimes you get that with super loud heavy metal. So, you know, thank you so much for giving us this great video to uh, check out here on YouTube. Hold on, we're going to back up and start this piece over again. The two girls on stage that are dancing around with the long hair, they're probably not going for this effect, but they got me thinking about the girl from The Ring who's got that long hair who hangs down in front of her face. Uh, I don't know why they're giving me that creepy kind of vibe. And maybe some of the ways they're crawling around on all fours and stuff, but that's the feeling it's giving me. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> blast all right uh shout it out to bring me the horizon that was their song king slayer uh we got three videos to check out enjoyed it quite a bit definitely going to put it on the playlist here in the house so i can uh, jam out to it and shout out to baby metal for their piece of this as well uh sue metal mo metal yui metal uh, i think they got a new member now uh since uh, one of them dropped out but uh 
Shout out to, to the one. Apologies earlier if I screwed that name up. I think I did. I feel terrible about it. And, uh, you know, cannot be forgiven. You're allowed to give me all the hate you want, and I will not do anything about it. I apologize. I'm guilty, guilty, guilty. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Uh, if you did, hit that like button down below. It doesn't cost you anything. Makes me feel good when people like my videos. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. And uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, big red button down below. If you click on that, it'll turn gray, let you know you have subscribed. And if you hit that bell off to the side, it'll let you know anytime I drop some new content over here at Touchy Reactions. I also have a Patreon. There's a link up in the corner. That's how we got here. Patrons voted on this band to be one of the ones we covered here this month. So shout out to my patrons. There's a link up in the corner and down in the description to the Patreon. Come on over and join up. It's only a dollar a month. And uh, I also have a Facebook and Instagram and a Twitter down below in the description as well. Come on over and follow us on those platforms and you'll get different content that we don't put up on YouTube. So shout out to everybody who tuned in and stayed around this long. And I appreciate you stopping by and don't forget to come on back.